Raj ka. Hi. Hi, Raj. <laughs> Hi. I'm very curious for this very interesting topic, weather. How weather impact our mood in daily life? Like winter, like summer, like rainy, like any kind of changing weather. For me, it affects so much sometimes because mindset, mindset and productivity very deep effect sometimes. And especially winter, the hard winter. So I'm just asking you. <laughs> it's such a it's such a great question. Um, as you know, I live on Vancouver Island, Canada, and we normally have mild winter weather. It's like the UK, right? Like England, so five to seven degrees centigrade. And but with climate change, we're having the weather changing and. Um, this last week we got minus 12 centigrade one day so that even our hummingbird feeders froze. <coughs> so we had to put a heater under the hummingbird feeder, put a sock on it, and, and now it's it's staying uh, uh, liquid. But it affects the birds too. You know, um, all I'm saying is that when we had minus 12, when we're not used to that minus 12, what do we do? We stay inside, right? We don't go for the walks or we don't want to go to the gym or we don't want to go out and do exercise because it's too cold. In reality, when it's that cold, uh, it's a great time to go for a walk. Like we have forests just a, a block from us here, so... Uh, in that beautiful winter storm, I went out for a walk by the river and into the forest where all the trees were covered in snow. It's just gorgeous, right? So we need to make the time and have the energy and the mindset to go out and get the exercise. Because if we don't, it we we can become closed in right and then our productivity suffers and then maybe we're not going to eat very well and um you know our health can suffer and so like this last week when we were having minus 12 i was writing to my clients in uh uh in australia working coaching my clients in australia and there it was in in the 30s and 40s centigrade and then the same with clients in Paraguay and so on. So the extreme heat can really affect our mood. You know what it's like in Delhi when it gets to be 45 and 49 degrees, right? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah. So it's really important that we pay attention to how the weather is affecting our psychology, our psyche, and uh, treat ourselves very well. So make sure we get the exercise, the fresh air whenever we can. So I know in Delhi, when it was 49 degrees, when I was visiting there, I went out for a walk early morning, you know, seven o'clock in the morning, I went for a walk um, or whatever we, we need to do. Food also affects our um, psychology so we want to eat um, fresh more fresh foods when it's really hot or when it's really cold but one of the things I want to talk about here is that there is a, a a real spread of flu and colds this year this winter I don't know if you've noticed that lots of people are sick right yes yeah. and um, and here in Canada strep throat you know, where you get a uh, very sore throat. It's off the charts, the number of people getting strep throat. So one of the tips I wanted to give today is that when you have the onset of a flu or a cold or strep throat, uh, there is a natural treatment for that. And we put it into above the video here. And 
uh, it's just called uh, flu tea, F-L-U-T, but you can use it for anything. And it was developed by the Supreme Master Ching Hai, my spiritual teacher. And it's got things like uh, slices of ginger. You boil up in a pot uh, ginger and uh, cinnamon and anise, star anise and cloves and la 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 and garlic you know you boil it all up for 15 20 minutes and then you strain it and you drink it and um you know my doctor in india for example who was very sick he had a temperature of 103.6 and he's got everything at his disposal you know ayurvedic medicine uh, pharmaceutical medicine, medicine everywhere and he was so sick and I said well can I send you this recipe for the flu tea that the master has developed it's got a lot of spiritual energy in it right and he said okay well within I think two or three hours his temperature went down to normal and 103.6 is very high and he was amazed so then he started telling everybody about this flu tea so it it Please, everyone watching this, make sure that you make, you have all the ingredients handy, uh, whether it's winter or summer there, because you can also get very sick in the summertime, can't you? Yeah. So whenever you feel something like flu or tea, flu or cold or strep throat or any aches and pains in your body, even with COVID, the master gave it to us during COVID, she said, take it. And right at the very beginning of your illness, make sure you take it at the very beginning. And uh, and then after, you know, a few days, if you don't feel well, then you can go and see a doctor or anytime you want to see a doctor, go ahead. But the, the it's the combination of uh, herbs and spices. Like lots of people understand the power of cinnamon for healing. And the power of star anise and cloves. You know, it's like in my plants in my house, uh, the plants get bugs. So what do I do? I put a little bowl in my pots and they have uh, cloves and cinnamon and the bugs run away. They don't like it. <laughs> so the plants are teaching us something, right? That if if the cloves and the cinnamon can keep the bugs out of the soil in plants, It can keep the bugs out of us when we drink it. So um, that's just a really big tip I want to share with everyone. It can save a life, believe me. And, um, yeah. So it kind of leads me into the same uh, uh, conversation on a different bent, and that is, yes, we can weather our... Uh, We can weather the weather (laughs) (laughs) no matter, you know, what's going on in the weather. We can uh, take charge of our health uh, and our our productivity and our psychology and our moods by eating the right foods, drinking lots of water and um, uh, and one thing that comes to mind is by self-coaching, you know, if you're feeling depressed, just go to www.thebrainwalk.com. Many of you know that already. Go to thebrainwalk.com, and in 15 minutes or less, you will get rid of whatever is uh, challenging you in that moment. You will get solutions to it. So uh, we have no excuse yes. to stay low. No excuse now, right? We have all the tools at our disposal. Um, yeah, so how do you feel about that, Raj? What do you think? Uh, you're right. We need to change our mindset in the positive mindset and uh, adoptable. But I love mild temperature. I also don't like winter now. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, but- I love winter and snow, but I don't know, last more than five years, I don't like winter. I hate winter now. <laughs> But for you, winter is 15 degrees Celsius, right? <laughs> That's winter for you. But but now these last uh, five to uh, more than five six years, 
here winter is very different kind of winter, uh, winter compared to Europe. My some of friend from European, they also said the Delhi winter is very tough compared to our snow temperature, they said. Because it's very deep winter in the maximum 12 or 13 degree temperature, but you feel very tough compared to any European city. Because here is winter is not long, so people are not, we don't have centralized heating system in the house. So all the people are using heater. So we need to warm our house, room, washroom, so we can feel easy way. But in your, you are using centralized heating system, so your whole house and the washroom, all the things are normal temperature. Warm. So you can, That's right. Yes, we're warm. So that yeah. is a problem here because here is the winter not so long, so houses are not making like your way. That is the difference. Hmm. Very interesting. Plus also the humidity, uh, you know, here, like in parts of Canada in the summertime, it's very humid, very moist. And so that the moisture in the air makes the temperature hotter. Yeah. And, and then same with the cold. Uh, yeah. So I hear you. Yeah, we have central heating and we also have, um, you know, I have a little heater beside my desk if I need it. Uh, we have heat pumps, <laughs> you know, we have all kinds of things. So, uh, you know, staying warm, I think, is also uh, uh, very vital. And then in the summertime, making sure we don't get overheated. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main thing is, you know, why I don't like now winter? Because when you are living in the mild temperature, you can wear whatever you want. But in summer, you want to wear warm clothes, so much jacket, gloves, so many things. <laughs> there you go well thank you Raj thank that was you. a great discussion thank you thank you